guys as you can see what a fine looking shadow right there man what a specimen but i am looking at this armstrong air package unit that's about the size of a bus a big package unit just doing a pm check on it we'll get a little bit more familiar with armstrong slash linux stuff and we'll take a look inside make sure everything's running properly guys as you see there's our lugs for our heat kit which is right here we have two circuits one here as you see the two wires Another set of wires coming up over the top going to the contactor right there. So there's two different circuits to turn off when you're working on this machine, like is the case with a lot of heat pump package units and some air handlers with big heat kits. So I'm going to verify power is off. We'll go over here and check this capacitor. Our contactor is a little toasty up there. Might warn them about that for next time. So let's get to work. Guys, I have the Zebra stat hooked up here. One temperature clamp is on a discharge line right now. I have our yellow wire on the contactor so I can turn that on and off. I have everything else on the low voltage terminal block. I have, you can see them, my temperature probe right here. And another one around the corner on the side of the unit. So as we go, I'll get the temperature across the evaporator or condenser coil and heating. So I'm going to turn everything on now, see how she's running. I can get my pressure, my pressure probes hooked up. Defrost control board is in delay. Blower come back on. So I'll wait just a moment. I'll make sure it comes on naturally instead of bringing it on with the zebra stat. Once it's on, I'll keep it on with the zebra stat. I'll go ahead and flip the switches so it won't be able to shut off again. Okay, guys, just started things up. Blower's running 2.8 amps. We have about 55 pounds on the low side. We're looking at around 250 on the high side. Our circuit boards. I noticed our fan was running when we started, but the green light wasn't actually on on this. So I'll make sure the fan's not stuck in the on position because of the uh, relay board up here. Just double check that before I'm all said and done. I'll take some amperages and I'll see what we're at as far as temperature. We're at 106.7. So we'll check, see what our spread is as well. So, all right, guys, I'll check with you in a few minutes after it runs for about 10 more minutes. We got about 15.5 amps on the compressor. This compressor is a four ton machine. Running pressure right now is just a shade over 250. Our normal running pressure from the chart that I found over here is around 280 or so. On a day like this, because it's warm enough, we're going to be in the 50s here by the time we're done. And it's just over 70 inside now. So 16. We're going to check our outdoor fan. Our blower was fine. We have a three quarter horsepower blower in this machine, so it's a pretty beefy blower for residential. So, so far, so good. We'll see what this amperage ends up with the the table on the unit, as far as the information table, is widened out. I have to look at the compressor if I want to see the exact amps it's supposed to run. I'm going to hit the heat one, which is our white wire, which I have hooked up here to our W terminal for the heat strips. So I'm going to hit that. Let's see if our heat strips come on after a second. Now we're on a sequencer, so it should take just a second. Right now we're reading 2.9 amps. Let's see what she says. 25 amps so there's our 5kw and there's another click still have 5kw so we're gonna make sure that turns over the 10kw here in a second or else we're going to investigate what's going on with the heat strips as you can see guys both of our sets of heat strips are running right now so we're good to go there so I'm gonna turn those off and make sure they drop out drop out hopefully it'll go down to zero here in a second well, guys i had a little mix up with my machine i don't know why i thought it but i had the green wasn't even hooked up yet and i was sitting here thinking that we were having issues or something i don't know why that is it is because i am crazy but anyway the machine is running again now uh, naturally so i'm going to watch it for a few more minutes the machine should be fine except for the contactor probably needs to be changed out i was just kind of a doofus and <laughs> i didn't even hook it up here i was making judgments about it Oh my gosh. So, but the machine looks good. Like I said, except for the contact, there's a little bit charred up there. But overall, pretty good. Guys, I had the fan unplugged right now, running the system in heat. So it'll get cold on that defrost sensor. I'm gonna put it in the defrost in a few minutes and make sure that works as well. Guys, I have my leads on the defrost sensor wires. It goes all the way over there to where the outdoor TXV is at. As you can see here, we have it on ohms. We have a closed circuit, which means it is cold enough to allow the defrost timer to run. 
and what happens is it'll let power through it. The defrost timer will then run run to either 30, 60, or 90, depending on what it's set on. Right now it's set on 60. I'll put it on test. That'll speed it up so it'll go into defrost. I'll pull the test back off and put it on 30, 60, or 90 again when I'm done. That way we can see if it does a defrost cycle. But as you can see, the switch is closed and uh, it'll open back up when it reaches a certain temperature. It's usually in the 50s. So. opens back up it'll come out of defrost and the fan will start running again let's get the fan plugged back in and the fan should come back on do not try this at home that is a high voltage wire do not try this at home or you will die. The sensor has to warm back up into the 50s before it'll let it go out of defrost. So it might be a couple minutes before it happens. So it gets pretty boring to wait on. So we'll just wait for the reversing valve to click back over. You hear a little whoosh, and then we'll go back into heating, and I will shut this thing down and go on my merry way. Everything looked good. The machine's about nine years old now. I changed the evaporator on this machine. You can see that on a video a couple years ago. Real hot summer day, I changed the evaporator. I had to sweat all the tubes in individually. I changed the blower motor on this one to a three-quarter horsepower. I think that was last year. And now we're just doing a checkup. But a wash pot never boils. It takes forever when we're waiting for defrost to get over with. Alright guys, I'll wait till it clicks over and then I'll bring you back in on it. Alright guys, we came out of defrost. Everything is happy and merry and wonderful. Life is great. I'm going to disconnect my less sophisticated zebra stat. There it is. Boop. And take off the wire for the fan. Boop. There we are, and I have to put back the other wire, low voltage for the fan. There we are on our board. Looks just like the Goodman board to me. That's it guys, everything's hooked back up. We have our low voltage in place. I put a little splitter up here on the transformer so I can do a little bit easier jumping out because it's kind of hard to find some spots to jump out when all the insulators are insulated. I could jump out from over here on the board, but it'd be nice to have a little bit less crowded area to work with, so that's what I did. So we're good to go. I'm off to the next one, checking out the old GE package unit.